Are you a science student studying in DU and are confused about CUET? Then this video is for you. If you are a commerce student or an art student, don't worry. Click on the video description below and you will find a video for your specific needs also. Hi guys, I am Karthik and I am going to take you through a very short video telling you the options that you have for courses in DU if you are a science student. So, the subjects that you may have studied in your 11th and 12th will most probably be mathematics of course if you are a science student. Uh, it will be physics, it will be chemistry and it may may not be biology or you know some version of biology. So, you may have done these four subjects or probably three of these four subjects and maybe one of these electives. So, if you fit in this criteria, then first let's have a look of which domain subjects or rather which how do you create the entire bouquet of your own CUET exam. So, subjects that you should attempt in CUET, language obviously will be English, which I am assuming most of you have done it in English. It may be Hindi also for some of you. Uh, for domain, definitely it should be mathematics, it should be physics, it should be chemistry and it may may not be biology depending upon which side of science are you tilting on. Okay. Uh, for general test, my answer is yes or no, depending upon what options do you really want to open up for yourself. So, this is the bouquet that you should ideally be attempting in CUET uh, for opening up your chances to almost all the courses in uh, D. So, if you are doing these subjects in CUET, I am going to now take you through all the courses that you can apply with these subjects at D. So, if you now have a look at on your screen, okay, you start with BSc. Okay, so all the BSc courses, if you see majority of the BSc courses have physics, chem, bio as, as the requirement. Okay, so if you have done maths, great. You can also uh, take up subjects, uh, courses like BSc, honors in chemistry, physics, uh, polymer science, computer science and all of that. So all these options open up for you. Okay, so obviously science student getting into BSc is a very obvious fit and therefore uh, it's not really rocket science that you can apply uh, to BSc courses in DU. Okay, going ahead, uh, if you if you you know have a look at let's say a BSc honors in instrumentation where you need physics, maths, chemistry. So again, that is covered. Okay, uh, if you want to do pure mathematics, BSc honors in mathematics, you need mathematics and any two subjects which are anyway covered, let's say in the form of physics and chem or physics and bio or or anything of that sort. Okay, uh, all of these subjects obviously need one language which uh, you know we have done it as English or Hindi in, in as we saw in the previous slide. Yeah, so all the BSc courses are definitely open for all the science students. What is interesting is that a, a, a rarer fit like a BCom. BCom is also open for science students. Okay, so BCom honors wants mathematics plus any two subjects from B1. Okay, if the if you have gone through the list released by DU, okay, in B1 physics, chem and biology, all three are there. Okay, so mathematics plus any two subjects. So if you have done the previous slide that I told you, uh, maths and physics, chem, bio, you are definitely eligible to apply to BCom honors, uh, you know, uh, and even 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 BCom courses for that matter. So all the option choices, you will be eligible for BCom, BCom honors, even BMS. If you have a look at it, BMS only needs a language and a mathematics. Okay, very, very important. BMS needs a general test. So in the previous slide, if you also attempt a general test, then there is not a single course that you cannot apply in DU. Okay, uh, so so yeah, so uh, BCom, BCom honors, BMS, all of that is open for you. Bachelors in vocational sciences are is is also open for you. Okay, going on to arts, if you want to get into BA, you know some students want to switch from science to arts. Uh, as we saw that you could have you you can switch from science to commerce. If you want to switch from science to arts, that options are also open. Okay, so all the BA courses, uh, BA in applied psychology, BA uh, you know uh, elementary education, all of these uh, they don't really you know give you a restriction of which subjects to do from B1. They say any three or any two, any two from B1 and any one from B2 and, and all of that, which means again, physics, chem, bio in B1 will cover all of these possibilities. So in case you, you know, you, you think that two years with science has been too much and now I want to uh, make a switch, let's say to the arts side or and explore some, some more arts or humanities or anything of that sort, you can obviously do it. 
so ba honors uh, in psychology ba honors in economics uh, ba honors in geography all of this is is very much a possibility for you even history or in you know journalism and and all of this is open for you what is very important is these kind of courses where these are language specific courses so if you want to do your ba honors in arabic or bengali english french german hindi spanish then obviously you need to have you know you need to know those languages so uh, any one language uh, you know from from list uh, the the language test better be the language that you want to do your ba in so that should again uh, you know open up your doors for these particular things these are a little rare fit i i understand but in case if some of you are there you know after doing a 12th science who wants to do a ba in arabic or a ba in sanskrit uh, that's also an option so just to tell you that all of these options are open so if you are a science student as i told you uh, no course is that you cannot apply in when when you you know uh, take your cuet as an, and take your domain subjects as mathematics physics chem and biology i am now going to show you the list of top colleges uh, for for most of these courses for bsc bcom bcom honors bms and all of these courses uh, for a complete list of colleges and their seats you can definitely click on the link in the video description thank you i hope you have understood i hope this video is helpful and gives you a little bit of clarity as to what can you do uh, to 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 maximize your options uh, when you start applying so thank you and have a great day